Welcome to Luna Basics. In this video, we'll be covering accelerated real-time monitoring, also known as ARM. ARM is a global mode in Luna that ensures the lowest possible latency when monitoring and recording with or without plugins. ARM seamlessly manages Apollo's real-time UAD processing features, all from within Luna, eliminating the need to open console. Let's start by seeing how to turn ARM on and off. ARM can be toggled on and off in the Mixer window using this button, or in the Transport menu by selecting Accelerated Real-Time Monitoring. It can also be toggled here in the Record Workflow pane with this button. The number of available ARM paths depends on your Apollo hardware. You can see the number of ARM paths that are currently available in the Record Workflow. Check the available ARM Resources section of Luna's documentation for more details. Let's see how ARM handles a recording scenario with a single track. In order to hear sound and alter your input settings, you'll first need to click here in the Input section, and then select an available input in the Focus Browser, and then press Record, Enable, or Input on the track. Once this is done, Luna builds a DSP path from the Apollo input directly to the monitor and queue outs. This bypasses the Luna mixer, including buses and Luna extensions, as the audio travels entirely inside your Apollo. Essentially, ARM is always working in the background to give you the lowest latency recording experience possible. On this record-enabled track, you have a unison slot and four record effect slots in the input section, all of which will be committed into your recording. You also have four monitor effect slots here, which allow you to monitor the processing without committing it into the recording. Note the gold outline around the inserts that are part of the ARM path. Luna builds these DSP paths as needed when you record enable the track and relinquishes the DSP when you turn off record enable, so you're never needlessly using DSP in the background. Additionally, Luna stores and recalls these UAD plugin chains per track, making future fixes or overdubs a breeze. Any plugins inserted in slots 5 through 8 are bypassed and will be reactivated when the track is no longer record enabled. Similarly, any audio units plugins that you insert will also be bypassed while the track remains record enabled. Luna's console emulation feature is fully integrated with ARM mode, dynamically handling all processing during recording and mixing to provide the lowest possible latency. ARM gives you the same benefits for instrument tracks as well. With the MIDI keyboard connected, as soon as you click an instrument track's name, the keyboard will control and play the instrument loaded on the track. But for the lowest latency, you need to record enable the track. This allows you to play and monitor instrument tracks through UAD plugins in real time with minimal latency. Next up is Luna's Q system. Luna can have up to four stereo cues depending on your hardware. These can be used as four stereo cues or as separate mono feeds for personal mixing systems. The cues are low latency paths that are separate from Luna's sends. QSENs control the level of live input audio as well as playback audio from the timeline that is sent to the headphone and Q outputs from record-enabled tracks. To set up your Q mix, turn up this knob and choose whether you want pre or post fader by clicking the P button next to the send knob. The send is set to pre fader when the P button is lit up. Alternatively, you can option click on the knob to set the level to Unity. Cues can feed the built-in headphone amps of any Apollo in your system. Cues can also be mirrored to available I.O. for use with external headphone amps or personal mixers. This is also where you can control and route the click track. If your Apollo has a built-in talkback mic, it has its own slot in the control room section where it can be adjusted and sent where it's needed. Also available in the control room section is the ability to choose what source will feed the monitor outs. 
Choosing any one of your cues allows you to hear the mix that's being fed to the headphones or cue outs. Now that we have our inputs configured with some processing and have sent audio to the cues, let's add some time-based send and return effects. We need to make a bus track that receives its input from a send in Luna. You can create a bus by clicking the plus sign in the focus browser using the Create Bus command in the Mixing menu, or the keyboard shortcut Command-Shift-B. In the dialog box that appears, you can name the bus, decide which send it will be fed by, set its format, and decide whether to add summing or console emulation. Once the bus is created, simply load a time-based effect in its Insert section. You can create a send to an existing bus by clicking on a send slot and selecting the bus in the focus browser. You can also click the plus sign in the focus browser to quickly create a new bus that will be fed by the selected send. The first two effects buses you create will automatically become the two ARM auxes Luna uses for real-time effects monitoring. Buses in Luna can be in one of three states unassigned to an ARM aux, assigned but no record-enabled tracks are sending audio to the aux, or assigned with active record-enabled tracks sending audio to the aux. If you want the effects to feed the cues, be sure to turn up the cue send on the effects bus. Luna has unlimited effects buses, but only two can be in ARM mode at any given time. So on tracks that have more than two sends, when you record enable them, only the two sends that are feeding ARM auxes will send audio. The others will stop sending audio, so you can monitor with the lowest latency possible. As you can see, accelerated real-time monitoring makes sure you're always getting the lowest latency path for your live inputs, instruments, and effects, allowing you to remain connected to the music and stay inspired. Be sure to check out other videos in the Luna Basics series for more Luna tips and tricks. Mm -hmm.